When I was a little girl, I was the victim of abuse. Violent abuse. My father tried to kill me three times. I remember friends having imaginary friends. I didn't understand that concept because I couldn't live in a fantasy world. I lived in hard, cold, cruel reality. But I did have a friend. And that friend was Jesus. When I couldn't talk to anybody, when I was told whatever happens in my house stays in my house, I could always talk to Jesus. When I felt unloved, when I felt alone, God was always there for me. Jesus was always there. I can't remember a time when God was not there, even when I was tripping. I know a lot of times you hear testimonies about God has always been with me. I love God. I love Jesus. There was a time I was very rebellious. I gave my life to Christ at 12 because I was always in church. I was a child that was raised up in church. And I knew that in order for me to make it, I needed Jesus. So I accepted him. Did I look like I was the same child? Honey, by the time I was 13, I was partying and having a good time. Wasn't thinking about Jesus. Loved him, but wasn't ready to walk a life that would be befitting of Jesus. That's where the relationship comes in. The harder I tried to be rebellious, the more he loved me. He started calling me to him. By the time I was 16, I knew that the journey that I was on, the road that I was on, was going to lead me in trouble. Either dead, on drugs, pregnant, or even worse. But God loved me so much that he wooed me. He, he loved me to himself. That I was able to change the direction that I was going in. Did hard times stop? No. I have gone through hell and back a couple of times. But that's because God wanted me to be able to be victorious in Him and to learn some things. Sometimes we have to go through some things to learn some things. A child needs to know that a stove is hot by touching the stove. Praise God that he saved me. He's been there for me. When people said that I was dumb and stupid because I had a learning disability and that I wouldn't amount to anything, I wouldn't finish even high school, God blessed me to get my bachelor's and my master's. When doctors said that because I have a brain tumor, and it affected me in a certain way that by the time I was 40, I wouldn't have children, I wouldn't uh, be, be living. In May, I'll be 58 years old. God has always been the author and finisher of my life. Jesus has always been there guiding me, protecting me from me, from my own self from my own wicked desires. And I thank him for that. Jesus has loved me so much and loved me for who I am and for what he called me to be. He didn't always see the right version of me, but he knew eventually I would get closer to him. Am I perfect? Honey, no. Do I sin? Yes, I do. We sin daily. But because I have a relationship with Jesus, and when I ask for forgiveness, he forgives me. And guess what? Who would have thought that little girl that her father threw away, that her father said that was dumb and stupid, wouldn't amount to anything, would become a preacher? Oh, but does that mean I don't sin because I'm a preacher? I do. 
I get mad. I make wrong decisions sometimes. But that's why Jesus is so important to me. When I make a mistake, I ask for forgiveness. When I have a tough decision, I ask for guidance. When I'm in trouble, when things just happen, life happens, Jesus is always there. And I'm thankful for that. I don't know where I would be without Jesus. I can't give you flowery words. I cannot tell you everything is going to be okay. Soon as you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, everything is going to be all right. Your life is going to be perfect. That's a lot. As soon as you give your life to Jesus, Satan is going to get mad. He's going to throw everything at you, including the kitchen sink. But you got to protect it. That's Jesus. There's some things we got to go through. That's Jesus. Some things he got to work out of us. I don't know what I would be, where I would be, who I would be without Jesus. And I am going to challenge you. If you're going through something, if you feel unloved, there's no one who will love you better than Jesus. If you're hurting, he can take the hurt away. If you're alone, Jesus will stick closer to you than a brother or a mother. If you're being abused, Jesus can deliver you. If you on drugs, you can be delivered. Alcohol, whatever it is, there is nothing too hard for Jesus. Jesus said that he would leave the 99 to come for the one. I'm the one that he came for, and I thank him for that. Try Jesus. If you tried everything else, try Jesus. Jesus has been there for me. If you've tried everything else, what do you have to lose? Nothing. What you're going to get is gain, eternal life, an abundant life. And society thinks of abundance in money and monetary things and this bling and all of this, this material stuff. But baby, I'd rather be broken poor with peace in Jesus. Try Jesus.